Well, my name is Robert Bullman, and I'm associated with Maitreya Eco Village in Eugene. And as part of the Bring Tour of Interesting Homes, uh, this uh, triplex that I built here is, is one that we'll be looking at. And it uh, contains a number of, of interesting uh, recycled things and, and uh, environmental innovations generally. In particular, there's a, an advanced uh, type of an advanced framing approach whereby we've achieved a super insulation value in this home. The foundation is made out of recycled styrofoam. Uh, the uh, the floor on the ground floor is an earthen floor, meaning that it's a uh, earth that can be made into a floor and then turned back into earth again. There's quite a few uh, products inside that are recycled. Like for example, the majority of the plumbing fixtures are recycled. Uh, all the interior doors are recycled. I built the exterior doors. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, ceramic tile that is not so much recycled, but it's, uh, you might say, salvaged in the sense that the tile companies have historically had this double incentive to throw brand new unused tile into dumpsters because if they allow it to sit on their shelves, they have to pay inventory tax on it. But if they throw it in the dumpster, they can call it a tax write-off, so they throw it away and I try to catch it before it hits the ground. And uh, so there's a lot of ceramic tile in here that's made into very creative and whimsical uh, uses of ceramic tile by virtue of having to work with lots of uh, small quantities of, of different designs and colors and shapes of tile. Well, one thing that a, a lot of people find fascinating is the uh, laundry drying rack. It's made out of wood. You, you, you hang your laundry up like here and then when you're through hanging it, you hoist it back up and then it's largely out of the way and then your, your laundry will dry uh, using this uh, rather unknown and very mysterious uh, pro uh, process called evaporation. Another thing that people find enchanting about this building is that there's these great big logs that hold up the ceiling uh, and uh, so it's sort of showcasing our northwest timber heritage and it has kind of a southwestern sort of look. So again, I said they're, they're salvage tiles. They, uh, you, you sort of are committed to using them in different patterns and, and different, different combinations because you can't count on having X number of square feet of any particular uh, uh, design. This is our bicycle shed. And you can tell because there's a bicycle wheel in the door and the door is round like a wheel. And then uh, it's kind of an innovative design where we tried to achieve the, the structural integrity by having all these poles embedded in and post holes. And then I did some kind of creative stuff with the uh, the way that the, the, the framing like this, uh, all the <coughs> all the rafters all converge on a piece of 16 inch diameter steel pipe up there. So that was kind of unusual. And uh, another Maitreya Eco Village product that I keep thinking about making are these uh, what I call bite eyes. Was, well, I, I take this little pieces of, of uh, steel pipe and weld them onto a bolt, and then and then make these these little eyes that can then you can attach your bike to it. You know, so you can anybody with a with a cedar fence in their backyard could drive one of these things into a fence post and have a pretty secure place to lock their bike. This building is a straw bale building. The walls are two feet thick. They're made out of straw bales with an earthen plaster on both sides. So it's a very earthy approach to straw bale construction. And you can see through this little window right here, this is called a truth window. And this is the, uh, this illustrates how there really are straw bales on the inside. And then the earthen plaster is visible right there where it really is just made out of earth, sand, and chopped straw. And this is just earth, sand, and chopped straw, and it's perfectly durable. There's nothing wrong. It's about an inch and a half thick, and it goes right on the straw bales. But it's, it's a delightful way to, to, to protect the bales, and no, no rodents are getting in through here. Well, this is a little uh, cob bench made out of earth, sand, and straw, sculpted from the foundation up. And then we stick bottles in it to make it kind of whimsical and interesting. And uh, we made a, a big overhang thing here to, to create a shelter so that people can hang around down here. People spend a lot of time just sitting in there socializing. 
and uh, it's just a fun little place to congregate and it's made entirely out of natural materials. Uh, I'm Robert Bowman and please uh, go to our website MaitreyaEcoVillage.org that's M-A-I-T-R-E-Y-A EcoVillage.org and you can see what we're up to and if you want to just show up we're, we're online and you can find our address and, and come here and just explore and wander around. No one's going to get chased away for showing up here. So please check us out. We're Maitreya Eco Village in Eugene, Oregon.